Hey all y'all, Snickerdoodles. I hope you're doing well. So one of the big things that I've heard is people saying I'm really afraid to have surgery. I get it. I know. Me too. Um, so I just am going to give you like a little bit of the walkthrough that happened to me. Um, because I think that, I mean, I've had a couple of surgeries um, this past year. So I'm going to give you the benefit of my experience. So they decide you need surgery. So if you're going to get intermediate dentures, um, which are the ones that they're going to mold um, of your gums before you have your surgery, um, you want to get those done. Um, talk to your denturist. I got a referral from my oral surgeon. Um, he's been practicing in my city for 20 years or something ridiculous like that. So he knows who's out here and he knows like the Vancouver doctors, and yada, yada. So... You get that done. Norm, like in Canada, um, I would speak with the uh, anesthesi anesthesiologist um, who, you know, gets record your your medical records in, um, and then you do meet with them in the morning. Them, pardon me, that was just gender biased of me. <clears throat> uh, so you're gonna see your anesthesiologist probably the morning of surgery. So. I had mine done, both of my surgeries done during COVID. Um, so you go in, you check into your um, surgical department, whether it's, you know, day surgery or whatever. Um, and they have you in the little waiting room. Okay. They're going to ask you to go in and change. So they're probably going to give you the big socks, which they put the big socks on because it is cold in the operating room. <laughs> Right. And, and they feel ridiculous and they look ridiculous, but that's why, um, they, so you're going to get changed. They will start an IV line. If you're getting nervous, now this is, I really encourage you to talk to your surgeon or your dentist. If you're going to need pre-sedation, right? I certainly did. And I told them, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be panicky. I'm probably going to try and leave. I'm going to need you to sedate me. So I got uh, out of van pre-op. So the anesthesiologist came um, and was super good. Like, you know, they really want to check your airway, make sure everything's good. The nurses come in and she's asked you all your questions. Make sure you don't eat. It's an aspiration issue. Um, and the last thing you want when a doctor is doing surgery on you is having to worry that you're getting the vomit in your airway. Okay, don't do it, don't eat, don't cheat, just don't do it. Um, you know, and all of those kind of questions, have you taken any medication? Yada, yada, yada. Um, and then they come and call you. And I'm a little bit like claustrophobic. Um, so knowing that they have different sizes of masks, um, like when they're doing the anesthesia, um, I know that I panic with the small one. Like uh, when I went in for my hysterectomy, I actually struggled. Um, moderately embarrassing. So I mean, very embarrassing. All I can remember after that is is my my um, gynecologist being like, "It's okay." Um, God, I can't believe I just said that. Oh well into the world it goes. That might happen. Uh, if you're used to a CPAP, you'll probably be, probably be okay. Um, the smaller mask just fits like over your, really snugly over your nose. I didn't like that one. It did make me really claustrophobic, so they got the big one for me. That made me feel much better. Um, so if you do know that you have issues, talk to your team. Talk to your denturist, talk to your dentist, talk to the anesthetist. I literally, the last thing, I argued about the best David Bowie song on the way to surgery. That's what I went to sleep uh, talking about right after I told him to please not let me die. They shouldn't let me out some days. Uh, when you wake up, you were going to have a nurse there saying your name. These lovely people have monitored you from the minute you got out of surgery. Um, and they are making sure that you are 
awake and moderately alert, depending on, you know, what they gave you. Um, my doctor came by and uh, before I left, I vaguely remember him patting me on the leg and saying, you did good, kid. Um, I just love him. Uh, you know, and then you go home. And I've made a couple other videos about, you know, the home care. I can't really speak right now. Um, but it, it is scary, and that's okay. But you can do it, and it's important to do it. Don't let your fear stop you, because you are going to feel so much better. Really, really. So if you do have any questions, I'm not a doctor. Don't play one on TV. I'm just some jackass who works in healthcare and has some dentures. Have a great day.